Uh, Christians Brothers University, uh, Dr. Harper, is uh, well known for diversity, and that is something uh, what Indian students could feel comfortable if they choose to join your university. Yes, for sure. So the historically, the city, because it's in the south of the United States, you know, has had this kind of divide between white and black. And I've lived in Memphis since the early 80s, and what I've seen is the city has become cosmopolitan. We have FedEx there. We have St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And as the, we have recovered from the divisions between white and black, what we've seen is other cultures, especially from India, coming in and feeling part of our culture now that we have in Memphis. Uh, this university also has a lot of diversity of the courses. Can you elaborate a little bit, if possible? Sure. Well, we have uh, four schools, academic schools. We're best known for our engineering school, which is ABET accredited. And so any employer knows if you graduate with us with, an, with a degree in engineering that you're job ready. Uh, we also have our School of Sciences, so I mentioned that St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is there. So many of our students that, were, that are interested in going into the medical fields actually have access to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, whether in internships or, let's say, in nursing in their clinicals. We also have a business school. Uh, with all of the majors you would think of in a business school. Uh, we're very strong in accounting. Um, our graduates are immediately snapped up <laughs> by the accounting firms um, in the Memphis area. And what I like especially about this school is many of our professors, rather than being solely research interested, uh, they come from professional business backgrounds and then have come to us um, afterwards for teaching. So they have those real world experiences, they have connections to the community. And so the students who go there through their internships, just through the wealth of knowledge that the, that the professors have, uh, really find themselves ready for the you know, working world. Um, and then the last school would be the School of Arts, which is not fine arts, it's really, we have a fine arts program, but it really encompasses everything else that you would see in languages, literature, history, psychology, um, and the fine arts. So in that school, our psychology major is, is the most popular. We do have a neuroscience lab, for example. Um, and then one of our fastest growing programs would be our um, graphic design program. So example, uh, three weeks ago, we had a group of students who, through their professor, they were able to have a graphic displayed in Times Square in New York. Two questions. One is Memphis, Tennessee is something a very pristine uh, environmentally. What we know about it's the most romantic place, <laughs> yeah, if, if I may use the word. Uh -huh. But at the same time, more important, uh, the, the student uptake and, uh, and the student to teachers uh, proportion is quite uh, interesting where a student, uh, I understand, can get a lot uh, better attention to the, to the detail, to the study, to the academics, uh, because the teachers proportionate per, uh, to the number of students is very uh, decent and very, very respectful. Right, so our total student population is under 2,000. Um, so each, in each class, um, we have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. And what you find is as the students progress, their classes become smaller. And so you would have a class, let's say in the second, third, fourth year, where the students um, are sitting there with six or, ever, uh, six or seven other students really having discussions with their professors, you know, not just sitting in the back of the room taking notes and taking exams. It really is a dialogue between the professors and the students. Um, you were mentioning, you know, the, the sort of cultural in Memphis. And so you may have heard of Southern hospitality. And, you know, I definitely feel that in Memphis when I go away and come back, it is a sense of comfort where people smile at each other on the street. People say good morning to you know complete strangers, or if you're standing in line at the grocery store, people will ha start having conversations. So, it's a place where it's easy to feel comfortable. It's easy to feel attached to it. And um, I was just telling my colleagues here that I've left Memphis three times, and each time I get homesick and I want to come back because uh, it's where I feel most comfortable in the world. Uh, does that mean that? Uh 
Indian student can find it, apart from study, a good place to enjoy. And at the same time, the problem with Indian student will be the visa issue. Mm -hmm. How to resolve that? Because that will be a great concern, even though you provide a very good environment, very good homely environment, and as you said, a very good teaching environment with the number of uh, students to teacher ratio and the quality and the diversity. Mm -hmm. Well, so first on campus, 47% um, of our student population is minority. So no one is going to feel alone on our campus. Now, taking that wider into Memphis um, with companies like FedEx, like St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, there is a large Indian community. And there are areas of Memphis where you find Indian grocery stores, Indian restaurants. So it's not something that, you know, Indian students will come in and they'll find a community both on campus and in the Memphis greater area. Now talking about the visa issue, um, we've seen with Biden coming in as the president, with the State Department and Department of Education making statements that we are open to international students. Um, we've seen in the last year visa uh, approvals going up. Now I know in India it can be a specific challenge. So at, at our institution in the last year what we've seen is for every three I-20s that we send out one will get approved. And so I know part of my job as the you know head of international initiatives is that I need to be communicating with the consulates, you know, with the visa officers saying, you know, we have good students who have the background, they should be given their visas. With the new ambassador in Delhi, I think uh, you may have to sell your sell your story to him as well <laughs> to get the Indian student uh, a more to Memphis, Tennessee. But also, uh, this is uh, if we look into a comparative study with the European Union and United States, a uh, lot more students go to European Union or to be specific to UK and France and other countries. Do you think uh, that that advantage is a little bit missing, uh, and also because of the work permit there, or with the with the learning? and at the same time working uh, once you finish your classes or once you finish your education and a degree? Well, with the optional practical training, the OPT option in the United States, you know, any student, any graduate will have, you know, one year that they can work in the United States legally. And then if it's a STEM designated major, they can work an additional two years after that. And so if, if you just want to look at the economics, if a family makes an, an investment, um, you know, let's say that the total cost is even $80,000. If that student is in a STEM major and graduates and is making $50,000 or, you know, to $60,000 that first year, the investment is going to pay off during that three-year period, and then you have a career ahead of you. So, you know, at my institution, we want to give opportunities to all students. You know, it's not just elite. We have you know, students from all economic backgrounds. And so it's something that, that I argue all the time that we need to make all of our majors available to any student from any economic background because we know through education that everyone can have a better life and we can have a stronger society. Uh, what did you tell to the students who are aspiring students from India, from uh, who are graduate and who wants to also do high studies at your at your uh, university? Uh, what would you tell to them? Uh, it is uh, uh, is it a value proportion in terms of money, or is it value proportion in terms of education, or is it in value proportion in terms of quality of life and and the growth path? I we all know American dream is what we all look for. Right. Well, so U.S. News and World Reports, you know, says that Christian Brothers is a best value university. So if you look at the investment, the cost of going and the outcomes, so whether it is quality of life, whether it is, you know, your academic dreams, I think that you can find that at Christian Brothers. It's a place where because of those relationships that the students form with their professors, with the small campus environment where everyone feels welcomed, that you know, in any one of those categories you mentioned, there can be a positive outcome. Uh, one last question. Do you have a India liaison office in Bom in Delhi or in other cities uh, or, or in Mumbai that could assist the students who, who, who could uh, be in direct contact in person? They could, uh, because I can understand that you have to travel worldwide. Right. So I'm here uh, uh, this week um, to 
form our partnership with UVG, and what I've found is that um, I'm working with very good people, um, that, that we share common interests that we need to be in communication with the students, we need to be in communication with the families, we need to help them understand what the cultural and academic differences are in the United States and especially at CBU, and having that face-to-face -face partnership just makes the world of difference. We don't have any students that get lost in translation, as we say. Thank you very much for your time and uh, uh, trying to explain to our Indian viewers and at the same time Indian students about why they should come to Christian Brothers University. As they say, American dream is what we all aspire for. Here it is, uh, Dr. Uh, Harper telling us all the details why students should come for the undergraduate course and for the senior courses and what he has told us very categorically the value proportion in terms of money investment that you make and the gains that you could get out of it. With camera person Uday Negi, Pranav Prakar reporting for Vision Television World.